Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video, we, um, we got our first bit of code in for highlighting quotations, so things inside of quotations. We looked at some of the complications for that, like this symbol, which we still need to deal with. And we looked at some of the complications for for highlighting um, other symbols like a comment symbol. And I came to the conclusion that the way that we write these symbols in our code is probably also quite important. And the reason for that is, is this isn't just telling um, our text editor here to turn this gray. It's telling the it's telling the compiler ignore the stuff after these things. So this is a symbol that's talking directly to the compiler in in a way. So when we're writing this kind of a statement, um, we are risking telling the compiler giving it a directive. So we looked at um, why it is that this software that I'm working in for my videos does this and decides to fail to recognize that this symbol is inside of quotes and should be treated more like a string than anything. Um, and the reason it does that is because the compiler isn't going to treat this like a string. So whether that's a mistake on the compiler end or or it's that way for a reason, um, I've come to the conclusion that the best and safest way to look for this symbol is to add the two symbols together in a way that oops, I didn't intend to do that in a way that um, isn't going to threaten to indicate to the compiler oh I want you to ignore everything after this this expression so what we want to do is we want to get our software to act in a similar fashion to maybe give that hint because I would say that the way that this software acts was the hint that led me to discover that it wasn't just the software that was going to treat this as as the end of the comment. The compiler also treated it as the end of the compile as the end of the comment. So that was a hint that that's what the compiler does rather than what I thought where oh well the software is just not able to see that but it's that was not the case it, the case is that the compiler also would ignore that the symbol was inside of quotes and decide that was the end of the comment so we want to get ours to function similar to that so in the last video we started checking if our single line comment was sitting inside of the quote tag and only only um, commenting out the line if it was not sitting inside of inside of the color yellow quote tag so on this one we would want to check um, here If actually we would want to check here if our second one um, no we'd only want to check here this is difficult to keep straight if the B, the first symbol was inside of a quote tag but we wouldn't want to check the second one because the compiler isn't going to check that. So we would um,
I think that that can actually be made very simple. I think that we can take our check here So if check one, and it's not sitting inside of, and is not sitting inside of a quote, then it will do check two. So, that may be as simple as it is, I think. So, we'll test that out and we'll see how that works. So, we'll open in terminal. We'll try to compile that. It's a very small addition, so we shouldn't have any trouble compiling that. So, let's see how that acts when we open up our test document. So, that has um that has broken our comment entirely so let's have a look at why that is oh that's the wrong one that's why it's not ends line it says tag Just a silly mistake there. Copied the wrong one into here. Okay. So if check one and the iter does not have tag. So if we copy the right one in, it'll probably work a little bit differently. That was just a, a silly mistake. So we have that working, it's um, commenting. It's not treating this as a comment, so because this test software that that I keep loading up is um, in the same lines as syntax highlighting, we have some of the same statements here. So let's see what happens if we put the beginning of a comment here. So, the beginning of a comment is acting the same way as it does in this software, which we've determined is the way it should act. So, that looks to be good the way that is. So, we'll just close and discard that. Now, the next one we want to deal with is this symbol. Now this one isn't going to be so easy um, because we can't just tell it to start the search over again because it's not looking for a beginning symbol it's looking for the ending symbol. So in looking to close a quote um, we need to check if this symbol is sitting beside it and if it is to look for the next quote. So that's going to involve um, a while loop. So, yeah, that's going. We're going to have to nest a while loop here. Check for this symbol beside the result, and not apply, not apply the tag if that symbol is sitting next to the result. So maybe we'll try to keep the video is a little more bite-sized and succinct so we'll call this video an end we've got the we've got some reasonable function on our multi-line comment that's working the way that it should and we'll show that this symbol is going to end a comment whether it's inside of a quotation or not so our software will also act in a way that may be confusing 
before we understand why this symbol should be written like this rather than as one piece. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll come back and we'll deal with our um, end quotation mark and when it should be considered an end quotation and when it shouldn't. And until then, I hope this was helpful. Take care.